Okay loves, welcome back to Exotic Tea Blog. I'm back with another video. Before we get into this one, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell so every single time I post you'll be notified. If you're new to my channel, you're welcome. Please hit the subscribe button and I love you. Returning subscribers, y'all should keep doing shit for me. I also love you guys too. And please, before we get into this video, tap the link I'm going to pin in comment section to so subscribe to our second channel at exotic tea blog reloaded i'm going to be dropping a video on that channel pretty soon so y'all shouldn't miss out now starting up with ice spice so it looks like this is the day ice spice is supposed to come out to say thank you nikki i love you because huh, nikki minaj and ice spice barbie world and princess diana uh, award-winning songs at the 2024 bmi rmb slash hip-hop awards so let me know if you feel about this down below this is big obviously um nikki carried the princess diana song and also barbie world so this is a good one and i feel like ice spice needs to come out and give nikki her props ice and her boyfriend raya was out here receiving the award nikki obviously preparing for god city and she doing great but yeah i spice received the award y'all should let me know if you about it down below and to all of y'all that's gonna come out and say oh she do not need to say thank you to, to Nicki minaj um to me i feel like she needs to say thank you no shade because um nikki obviously helped her and y'all see um how i spice is flopping now because she do not have the nikki co sign no more the barbs in supporting her that is why she's flopping but when nikki still had the light on i spice she was doing great even the thank you the each song did great but ever since nikki take out the light ice spice been flopping so i feel like yeah she needs to come out and acknowledge um the nikki minaj collaboration even if she was behind the scenes saying nikki was ungrateful and delusional um but i feel like she needs to come out and give nikki her flowers because it was because of nikki and the barbs the songs did great no shade but let me know how you feel about it down below i know most of y'all can stay delusional but if you want to stay delusional stay delusional and i really want to talk about this real quick um is it just me or the general public i spice and riot they do not have that much of a chemistry outside like look at this picture it looks so scarred no shade that's just how i feel about the situation but anyways maybe because um Cleo came out exposing their relationship. They're trying to make it chill, 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 but they do not want to come out to the general public easily. Maybe that's what it's giving. But let me know if you feel about them down below. What do y'all think about the relationship? Let me know. Moving over to Bigfoot. So um I made the first video today talking about the shots she sent at Nicki Minaj on her new song Never Played, which I said it was made boring and trash. But yeah someone sent me this on my instagram because i was like damn like when did this all happen and the person was like oh you didn't catch this is from the commercial song she did and i saw the commercial on twitter i saw it on instagram and i honestly didn't pay attention to lyrics because she was like serving the same thing like she always does the cadence are always the same and i wasn't really really paying attention to lyrics like fuck no i didn't check for the lyrics at all i didn't even know she was gonna throw shit at the commercial song i was surprised though but yeah let's get into the lyrics she said i don't see competition i do not i don't let haters stop me i do my big one every time because i know they watching i am the one to be make him got them make him got on the fee i am i am the one that got your best fighter losing sleep so um this is the direction of Nicki Minaj uh, obviously and she went on saying step one they doubt they sleeping step two I'm the one they believe in step three I don't got an I don't got a few yards on them step four now they playing the fence step five build my team up mud on your face get it clean up um bring them out i'm ready to eat i'm gonna use the i'm gonna use what's left to pick my teeth so let me know if you feel about this down below in the comment now um this is a little bit confusing but i'm just going to try um to break it down to y'all so um let's get on to the part when she said um um let's get into the part when she said um make them get on my feet so um this could be uh nikki this could be uh some rap girls that have been trying to collaborate with megan stallion um i'm gonna say um this could be a gt this could be a nikki because 
it was alleged that JT was crawling back to Megan Stallion. And we all know JT and Megan Stallion did fell out. So JT might as well go back to Megan's feet begging. And this is like a new verse. So obviously she could be talking about JT and also Nicki Minaj. Y'all know Nicki talk about her on her song Bigfoot. I mean the song was Bigfoot. Megan had a Bigfoot. So no, she has a big foot. Yes, that's the right word. Well, this could be at Nikki. This could be at JT. And the verse when she said, I'm the one that got their best fight at losing sleep. This is obviously about Nikki Minaj. Y'all know I was going to say, oh, Nikki was spiraling for like a straight up week because Megan said the word, Megan's law, this, that, 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 that. Yeah, obviously this is a Nicki Minaj shot. But my whole thing with this, um, Megan, this is really, really cheap. Like if you was to this Nicki Minaj, this is really cheap. No shade. Um, Let me know if you feel about it down below. Now, let's get into this tea. Nikki posted Foxy. By the way, happy birthday, Foxy Brown King. Foxy, she the one she, and I love her. I love her style, and I love her music. She, she's a great one. So, Nikki posted Foxy on her Instagram story, wishing her happy birthday. Like, if there is one thing Nikki don't play with Nikki, it's Foxy Brown. Nikki ain't playing with this woman. No time. If there is one person online, Nikki is always going to wish a happy birthday. And since I know Nikki Minaj is Foxy Brown. So, I mean, yeah, Nikki posted her up and some of the beehives was coming out sad. Why? Because Nikki didn't post Beyonce. And we're finna get into that see, but I mean y'all be really acting up online. Yeah, like y'all be acting up online because Nikki posted Foxy Brown. Everybody was coming out just crumbling saying, Oh, she ain't posted Beyonce. Why didn't she post Beyonce? I think Beyonce's birthday was like three, two days ago. Yeah. And Nikki probably was busy, but I'm just going to say this. If Nikki loves you, Nikki likes you, she's definitely going to post you. And let's get into the Tiana because um some of y'all may not know, but Nikki and B haven't really been that close for a very long time. And that T is crazy, but I just have to like give y'all a little bit of it because Nikki has been going at it with Rock Nation, Desiree Paris, and Camo Face, aka Jay Z, and that is Beyonce's husband. So, um, the beehives always out here dragging Nicki Minaj. That is something we always have talked about. And my whole thing with the beehive, why y'all dragging Nicki Minaj? Like, is y'all Rock Nation? Is y'all um Megan Thee Stallion fans? Because I mean, the last time I checked, once Nicki come out, she throw shit at Megan. The beehive is going to go at her. But I mean, yeah, these damn Beyonce, these damn Megan Thee Stallion. So what can y'all do? So I mean, they coming out real sad because Nicki posted their Foxy and not Queen B. And honestly speaking, I did wish Queen B a happy birthday. Um, I saw some celebrities posting her, but Nicki didn't post Beyonce because I don't think Nicki forgot. No, I don't think Nicki forgot. Nicki might as well have sent her flowers or sent her stuff. Yeah, but I don't think Nicki wanted to just wish her a happy birthday publicly because I mean. We ain't cool with them. No shade. I mean, me, I'm not cool with Rock Nation. And we all know Yonce is still out here linking up with his dogs. She's out here linking up with Megan Thee Stallion, um, Glorilla. And I'm not saying that that's bad, but like her hubby is making her do that. And allegedly, the VMAs got Megan Thee Stallion to host because they assured them Yonce was going to come. Instead of Nicki Minaj, they had Megan Thee Stallion to host. So, I mean, Nicki might as well feel the type of way about that whole situation, but I don't think Nicki and B are that close like that. And I still feel like um, Jay-Z is part of the reason Nicki and B still hasn't put out no collaboration in a very long time because Nicki and B loved, loved, loved themselves. So, I mean, Jay-Z is part of the reasons why Nikki and B hasn't put out the collaboration. So, I mean, he is trying to ruin that relationship because he wants um, Nikki to look like the bad person every single time. But anyway, shout. Let me know if you feel about it down below in the comment. Do y'all think Nikki would eventually post Beyonce? Because the Beehives is not happy about it at all. They feel like Nikki needs to post Beyonce. I mean, let me know how you feel about it down below. But um, let's get into this whole stuff. So, people is coming out just to drag some in the carpet into scene. Um... Yeah, baby, that's gonna be it's for me. It was fun. Imagine aligning yourself with someone who marks dead parents and victims of gun violence. Someone who married a, y'all know the word, and murdered 
and harassed her husband victim so let me know if you feel about this down below in the comment i mean most of y'all really be coming out sad because pop base posted the nikki sending sabrina flowers and sabrina posting it on her instagram many fans was coming out sad but i mean my whole thing with y'all the pop girl is a cool with nikki minaj it's just the rap duds haven't y'all noticed taylor swift loves nikki minaj olivia rodrigo loves nikki minaj um ariana grande loves nikki minaj adele beyonce rihanna they all check with Nicki Minaj. Only this rap dots that Nicki Minaj has given collaboration and even the one that didn't get a collaboration, aka Chop Ho is coming outside of her. So I mean what is y'all coming out to do? Like at the end of the day, everybody on Twitter just wanna hate on Nicki Minaj. Everybody over that app wants to hate on Nicki Minaj. That is why we the barbs are out here. That is why we the barbs are going to come out here standing ten toes behind our queen. So I mean y'all should go to hell. We do not care. Nikki and Sabrina loves each other y'all should stop hating but megan also reviewed on her interview that um because she was asked if she would love to host the super bowl she said oh my god definitely the rapper says like the day they would ask her to do the halftime show y'all are not going to see her for at least two months because i'm going to be in a serious hardy boot camp preparation so let me know if you feel about it down below in the comment um i can see her doing this like i can see her doing this even if i don't think she has the right catalog i mean she ain't got no many solo hits like that she just live on people's collaboration i mean if you to call megan the stallion top songs you're gonna call cardi b wap you're gonna call her girl summer you're gonna call beyonce savage remix and is that supposed to be what Tashi was that <laughs> no shade so i mean she do not have the right catalog to do the super bowl half time but I can see her doing it because guess what? Camel Face, aka Jay Z, the one picking and choosing who to do the show. So um, that is why y'all haven't seen Nicki Minaj done that. That is why y'all saw um, May Rihanna doing it because he gets to choose. And those people he picking up, they are people he cool with and um, he checks with. So I can see Megan doing it. But let me know how you feel about it down below. Now, moving over to the industrial plastic bag, aka the face changing alien Cardi B. There is always an identity crisis with Cardi B every single week on social media. Like, girl, if you ain't changing that face, you're out here getting clocked by the general public. But anyway, she posted pictures of her, her mom, and sorry, her, her grandmom, and her sister. She said, um, she captioned the post saying, If my grandmother don't trust you, we're going to shoot you. So let me know if you feel about this down below in the comment. And y'all, know how twitter people can be they really came in on cardi b because um no shade the, her grandma this is supposed to be her grandma yeah she in black and cardi b was alleging that she has black generation she has black history her grandparents but um we know cardi b's mom and dad is white obviously then they was like supposed to be um spotting some black stuff about the grandmom at least uh, assuming on what cardi b said we were supposed to see a black woman but yeah we don't see nothing like that so people went in on cardi b one twitter fan said um not a black woman inside another person said three mexican uh, another person said hispanic cosplaying as black people interesting then the last twitter user said so where is the black in that woman so let me know if you about this down below it looks like people was coming out here dragging cardi b my host with cardi b like you do not have to force it we know you're married to a black man and you have black kids it doesn't mean you're supposed to be black girl just accept the fact because you're still out here and this is about to make her go off again on twitter space oh my god i just know once you see people talking about this much she's gonna start going off cursing out her fiends telling them this telling them that i'm that's like typical cardi b but i mean girl i don't see no black in your um in your traits you haven't shown us that you have a real real black traits coming from your childhood or something like that you just actually telling us you're afro latina you're this you're that you're black girl child let me know if you feel about it down below anyways um glorilla partisan fontaine and macaroni tony were awarded at the bmi awards for tomorrow too so let me know if you feel about this down below in the comment i don't know how this award show works like honestly speaking i don't know how it works but yeah i was like wasn't cardi b on the tomorrow too song like child wasn't she on the song okay i did a quick zoom and i was like okay glorilla macaroni tony jordan partisan fontaine throat and this is like the tomorrow too 
the not the tomorrow song the tomorrow too and cardi b was on the song so um was this a, like a writer award stuff or something because something ain't right like here yeah, now something ain't right y'all should clock this still with me something ain't right because cardi b was on the song so why is she not getting nominated or was it just writers that was nominated at this award y'all should have been down below in the comment nikki i spice they both won something in cardi b What's on the tomorrow's song? I'm so I'm so cracking my brain. I'm just gonna go to my Google right after I post this video because the tea is piping her. Cardi B is not going to like this. Y'all know how they discredited her on the song Wanna Be Remixed and Eating DB on the people her one hundred charge. She was mad at that. She's about to get mad <laughs> more. Because why is she not supposed to be receiving this award? I'm so gagged. Is it that she didn't write the song? Ah, uh, y'all should let me know this. Y'all should let me know feel about this down below. Like, how do this award show um give the awards? This particular award, like the BMI, how do they give it out? Because she was on the song. I'm kind of buttered. But anyways, y'all, let me know how you feel about this down below. This is what you get for not writing your songs because Party Fontaine obviously got an um got an award show. He got an award and you didn't got nothing. Like you got nothing. You got nothing. So, um, like I said, let me know how you feel about it down below. And if you know about this award show, or if you know about how they give out these awards, let me know down below. Moving on from there, Never Play by Megan Thee Stallion featuring RM from BTS. Debuts at number one simultaneously on World Wild iTunes chart and European iTunes chart. So, it also picked at number one on iTunes in 80 plus countries. So let me know you feel about this down below in the comment. Shout out to the BDS fans, aka the armies. They doing a big one for Megan Thee Stallion. I mean, we obviously know it's going to do well because it's the BTS f fans. Like it's BTS. They do great on streaming platform and other stuff. So we all know it was going to do like this. Not like the song was that great. I told y'all the song was a two out of ten. I actually said four out of ten, but no, it's now a two out of ten because. It's trash. I don't care about what y'all think about it. That's just my opinion. Let me know your opinion about the song down below in the comment. But to me, that song is trash. And most of y'all was like, oh, Megan playing chess. She's actually being strategic. She's um pushing the Asian market. She's gaining fans from the Asian. I mean, she's not doing she's not doing that because she wants to do it. No shade. No male rapper wants to collaborate with Big Foot. Y'all know how Future charged her over 500k or 300k, something like that, for a verse, and that verse was trash. Yeah, male rappers do not check with Megan Stallion like that no more. That is why y'all notice she ain't having like male rap collaboration. Same thing with Cardi B. But Megan Thee Stallion has an issue. They're scared of her before they get up, um, locked up like Tori. No shade. Well, yeah, let's get into the Tiana. Male rappers do not want to check with Megan Thee Stallion. That's a real T. But let me know if you feel about it down below in the comment. Lastly, moving over to Ice Spice and Caesar, the user and the liar. They was put it out on the BMI Awards show, and yeah, they look cute. And people was coming out like, oh, why don't these two people do a collaboration? It's going to be a hit. Let me know how you feel about it down below in the comment. No shade, I don't know what no collaboration from Caesar, the liar, and um, Ice Spice, the user, cheater, ugly ass bitch. Uh, I don't want no collaboration from those two. But I love Caesar. I love Caesar music. Girl, if you're putting out something, give us the SOS, the locks, and let I Spice go. And I Spice is forgetting something. And I'm going to remind her now. Ice is just water after it gets melts. No shade. Get that stuck in your brain. You are just water. You might as well start dancing the Tyler song. Make me sway. Make me hurt. Because she just wanted. No shade. Stop thinking you're that girl when you're not that girl. The whole general public is turning against you. So you need to get up on your good foods. But let me know if you feel about this video down below. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll talk to you on the next video. Thanks for watching.